Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create clouds easily in Blender Cycles. Let's get started. Press Shift A and add a cube object. Hit the Tab key to switch to edit mode. Switch the face selection mode and select these faces. Go to the mesh menu and extrude individual faces. Go to the Modifier tab and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Set the Subdivision level to 4 in the viewport and render. Select the faces and scale them so that it looks like a cloud shape. Switch back to Object Mode. Add an Empty Volume Object. With the volume selected, add a mesh to volume modifier. Select the object with the eyedropper. Go to the Outliner Editor, hide the object in the viewport and the render result. If you increase the voxel amount, you will achieve a smoother and higher resolution volume effect. Set the voxel amount to 200. You can also change the volume density value All right, let's add a Volume Displace modifier. Click the New button to add a new texture. Go to the Texture Properties tab and switch the texture type to Clouds. Set the size value to 0.7. Go back to the Modifier tab and set the Displacement Strength value to 3. That's it. All right, it's time for shading and rendering. Press Z key to switch to Render Preview Mode. Click the Render Properties tab and ensure that Cycles is Active Render Engine. Set the maximum samples value to 32 for the viewport and 64 for the render. For lighting, go to the World Properties tab, click the Color node, and choose the Environment Texture. Open any Sky HDRI image. Go to the Render Properties tab and scroll down to the Color Management section. Switch the View Transform from Filmic to Standard and switch to the High Contrast look. It looks better now. Switch the Timeline Editor to the Shader Editor. With the volume selected, click the New button to add material. You can adjust the cloud density in the Principled Volume Shader. Add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to align the camera to view. Click the lock icon to lock the camera to view. Select the volume and adjust the perspective within the camera view. Go to the Output Properties tab and set the resolution to 1080 pixels. Go to the Render menu and render the image. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.